Hello everyone, welcome to Just Begin, where we talk about starting a business or if we should start a business, especially while working a full-time job. And today I wanna to talk about things you can do when your business is not generating income. That's right, sometimes when you start a business, it takes time before your business starts to generate income. And I wanna talk about this because it's so important that you stay encouraged and that you don't give up. So let's just, just dive right into the topic. The first thing you wanna do is evaluate your business model and business operations, okay? Let me give you an example. Um, you want to evaluate your marketing skills. How are you marketing? Are you um, doing some offline marketing with signs and flyers or um, actually going into businesses and handing out your business cards? Are you um, doing some online marketing, uh, maybe some Google ads? Do you have your website up? Are you doing marketing on Facebook and Instagram? Are you marketing on YouTube? There are so many different ways um, for you to market and there's no right or wrong way. You just need to evaluate if that is working for you because if people are not aware of your business and they don't know about either the products or the services that you provide, you're not gonna make any income because um, nobody knows about your business. But if you are marketing and you're still not able to generate income, that means that you may need to tweak some things as far as marketing. But that's not the only thing that you have to look at. Let's say that your marketing is excellent and people are actually coming to you because they want to do business with you. Now you have to take a look at your customer interactions or your potential customer interactions. Let me give you an example. Let's say you are actually selling a product, right? And um, you, your call to action is for people to visit your website and um, maybe to, to, to call you, just depending on what, um, what you're selling. Sometimes people do actually have to call and ask questions before they purchase. It just all depends. Let's say they do call you. So you have some customer interaction there and um, your customer service is not good. Um, and the customer or potential customer feels like they are not getting what they need or they feel like they don't um, like the interaction or they don't trust you or that you can't provide um, the service or the product that you say that you can. So it's bad customer service. That's another reason why your business might not be generating income. So you want to take a look at that as well. And then also, is your business set up properly? Is your business able to provide the service or product that you say you can provide? Okay, this is another example. Let's say you are a real estate investor and you say that you can purchase somebody's property because you're on property acquisitions, but when it comes time to purchase someone's property, you don't have the proper systems in place, whether uh, you have investors backing you, whether you're going to be using hard money. If you don't have those systems in place and um, you are letting down your clients, that is another reason why uh, you're not going to generate any money. So you want to look at those three things. Evaluate your business model and your business operations. You want to look at things like marketing, uh, customer service, any type of customer interactions. And you want to look at your ability to provide the product or service that you are promoting. Okay, so now once you identify the problem, wherever that may be, now you want to um, get help to solve the problem, okay? So let's go back to the real estate um, investor example. If you are not able to actually um, acquire the properties um, 
Once you tell the, the homeowner that you can, but you don't have the proper backing, one of the ways that you can find a solution to that is to get the proper investors behind you. Get the hard money um, loans that you need to, to buy uh, homes, okay? So uh, take care of the problem. Let's say the problem is in marketing and you can pinpoint exactly what you're doing or not doing in your marketing system um, that's just not working and not connecting with customers. So you wanna fix that. So sometimes it's an easy fix when your business is not generating income. You just don't wanna give up. Just evaluate where the problem is and then find a solution, okay? And if it's something that you just don't understand, I know we talked about, um, I gave you an example about real estate investors. Sometimes they get kind of caught up on um, what the ARV of a property is. Maybe you want to partner up with a real, uh, a real estate agent. Uh, maybe you don't know how much it's going to cost to fix a property and your, your numbers are off as far as the repairs. So what you want to do is partner up with a contractor. Okay. These are people that can help you to progress in your business. This way you can generate money. Okay, those are just some examples. Your situation may be different, but I'm just trying to give you some examples on how you can find solutions to your problems so that your business can generate income. Also, if your business is not generating income and you've already looked at your business model and you've already looked at your business operations, it might be time for you to get a part-time job. And that is not a bad thing. That is very common. I went through that. I had to get a part-time job. I had to work for Uber Eats because yes, I wanted to be successful in business, but I also had to make sure that I could provide for me and my child. Um, this channel here, Just Begin, Just Begin Your New Journey, is all about transparency. So I am not ashamed to tell you that yes, I did drive for Uber Eats and I did what I had to do so I can provide for me and my daughter. It was very necessary. And if you find yourself in the same situation, do what you need to do to pay your bills and you still don't have to give up on your business. You can still you know, move forward in your business and do what you need to do to progress in your business while working a part-time job. It is okay, okay? And if you're working a part-time job for a prolonged amount of time and you're realizing that that is not enough money to take care of your household bills, do not be ashamed to get a full-time job, okay? Because yes, you want your business to succeed, but you also want to be able to pay your bills, okay? Because you have day-to-day -day obligations that you need to meet. So don't be ashamed to get a full-time job if you need to, if your company is not generating income, okay? That is perfectly fine. And then you can work on your business part-time so you can have a full-time job and have your business that you work on and just do that part-time. That is perfectly fine. Um, the main thing is that you don't give up. And I know I say that in a lot of my videos, but I just want to give you some encouragement. Sometimes people are not able to generate income in their business for months. And that's very normal. Remember, it's so important to stay connected to a network of business owners that can encourage you, okay? As you go through your journey of um, being an entrepreneur, this is not an easy path, but it is doable. You can do it. Just stay encouraged and stay connected to other business owners. It is so helpful and we actually encourage each other. Okay, that's very, very normal. I have a network of friends that are business owners that have gone through similar things. And I think this would be a perfect time to remind you that I have a group on Facebook called Just Boss Up. It is for business owners and for future business owners. And we just talk about things that affect business owners, entrepreneurs, or future business owners. And you know, I just want it to be a place for um, encouragement. You know, we can talk about our wins in business and we can talk about, you know, times when we don't win, but we learned a lesson. You know, it's all about encouragement and it's all about um, not giving up 
as we are on this path um, to creating a successful business and just know that you can do it. You are not alone. A lot of people have um, had some months where it was kind of rough, but they had to push through. So I just thought it was really important to make this video and just um, let you know uh, to not give up. Please do not give up. And I'm always active in my group, Just Boss Up. I'm active in it every day. I would love to see you. I would love to talk to you um, in the group. And um, have a good night.